Welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Now, friends, listen to me. I'm going to do my best to keep this review spoiler free. Now, I want to tell you that up front because it's important. Blade Runner 2049 contains quite a few twists and surprises that are rich and rewarding. And my goodness, they start dropping no more than five minutes into the film. So, uh, you know, it's gonna be tough to review the film while remaining as vague and spoiler-free as possible. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Blade Runner is this year's Mad Max Fury Road, a reimagining of a classic cinematic property for the modern age, made by a visionary director at the top of this game. Also like Fury Road, Blade Runner 2049 can best be summed up as, just like the original, only more so. Also like Fury Road, this one will probably earn a bunch of Oscar nominations from the top down, from best picture to the score to the sound design, the screenplay, director Denis Villeneuve, and especially for perennial Oscar bridesmaid cinematographer Roger Deakins who has been dazzling us with his photography for over 40 years, has been nominated for an Oscar in Astounding 13 times, and has never taken home the trophy. He should definitely take it home for Blade Runner 2049. I tell you, gosh, this is a beautiful film. Blade Runner 2049 transports you completely to the same futuristic, gritty, rainy film noir Los Angeles as the first film did only 30 years later. Every frame contains such compositional beauty that you really could enjoy it without any plot whatsoever. You could just stare mouth agape at the glorious images that fill every corner of the screen. But as it happens, there is a plot as well, and a very good one. And I say it's probably got a better detective story at its heart than the original Blade Runner did. Blade Runner 2049 also moves as slowly as its predecessor, but this time it feels more deliberate. There are long, lingering shots that prolong certain sequences, but this pacing really only serves to immerse the audience into the scene that much more effectively. I didn't mind the indulgence one bit, and although it was long, I was never checking my watch because I was captivated by the details, lost in the journey. So, what is that journey? Uh, you probably noticed that I haven't even discussed the plot yet. Well, that's because there's a lot, and I mean a lot, of secrets that I wish to preserve. Suffice it to say, the story follows Ryan Gosling as a Blade Runner, who, if you don't recall, is a type of police officer whose job it is to track down and retire, aka kill, rogue humanoid robots, known as replicants, who look exactly like humans and who are created for use as slave labor. The ones that live too long or escape must be tracked down and killed. If you remember the original Blade Runner, you already know that. But if you don't, or you never saw it, don't worry, plenty of reminders or primers are sprinkled throughout the film, but if you do go back and watch Blade Runner first, you will be rewarded with a richer experience. Now, over 30 years later, Blade Runner 2049 is able to pull things off the first Blade Runner wasn't even capable of, or at least not on this scale, just like Mad Max Fury Road, I, I know I keep bringing it up, but it's such an apt comparison. Look, if you loved Mad Max Fury Road in comparison to the Mad Max films, that's how much you will love Blade Runner 2049 in comparison to Blade Runner. And when I say scale, I'm not just talking about visual effects, I'm talking about the themes, the twists, and what is supposed to be the point of all science fiction, the application of futuristic or scientific technology and concepts to illustrate new ways, truths about the human condition. That's what Blade Runner 2049 is able to pull up here. And that's why it will stand the test of time. Blade Runner was only able to hint at ideas that Blade Runner 2049 knocks completely out of the park. What does it mean to be human? To have a soul? Who decides whether a being has a soul? Does a creator have the right to destroy what he has created? What does it mean to be told that you are special? How would you know if you were truly special, or just like anyone else, just thought you were special? And now I'm just letting the review get away from me. Look, look, look. At least I haven't spoiled anything, thank goodness. I award Blade Runner 2049 an extra large bag of popcorn. It is a delight to the senses, an emotional workout, a satisfying mystery, and a true science fiction masterpiece. Go see it on the biggest screen you can with the best and loudest sound system. Personally, I saw it in Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision and I can't wait to go back and see it a second time in 3D. Blade Runner 2049 does what the best movies are supposed to do. It transports you to another place and into the lives and struggles of rich, fascinating characters. It thrills you and it makes you think about yourself and humanity in new and provocative ways. Whew! This one is really, really good, people. 
That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more. And support us by clicking subscribe while you're there and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Blade Runner 2049 in the comments as well. Just, just please, no spoilers, please. And, and if you've seen the movie, you know it's a spoiler. You know. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel. And I've seen things that you people wouldn't believe. <laughs>